Hello, how are you all? Welcome to my channel. Those who are new, welcome, welcome. Hit that notification button. Subscribe and share my the links to my videos. Hello, great elephants. How are you today? We are still continuing with our lesson on soil. So today we're going to look at soil as a renewable source and also looking at soil erosion. Soil is a natural renewable resource. The last time in our class we said a renewable resource is a resource that renews itself continuously and soil is like that. Why do we say it is a renewable resource? Why? Because one, it absorbs water and acts as a medium where vegetation can grow. It provides living area for organisms and animals. People build on it and use it to build with necessary for farming it provides us with food it is important for minerals because minerals are found in the soil and it also forms the base levels of food chains and it renews itself because remember the parent rock is continuously undergoing um, weathering breaking down of the rock and continuously forming the soil you also have the humus content also that also continuously forms and regenerates the soil forming processes. Right, so now we are looking at soil erosion. What is soil erosion? Soil erosion is the removal of the top layer of the soil. And this removal can be through agents of wind or rainfall where the top part layer of the soil is removed. And when the top part layer of the soil is removed, it means the so top layer of the soil will no longer have, will become less fertile, no longer having the nutrients that it was having. So here are pictures that are showing evidence of erosion. Usually this occurs when there's bare ground. Continuous erosion has also led to, led to land degradation. Continuous erosion also is causing these valleys, donga-like structures there. So this is basically soil erosion causes. What are the causes of soil erosion? Soil erosion is caused by many activities, especially in human activities. Deforestation. Deforestation is the removal of trees. Now when we remove trees, remember the trees, the roots of the trees, they bind soil together. Now when we remove or we cut down trees, it means we, the, we no longer have the roots that bind the soil. And this leaves the land bare, and agents of wind and water can easily wash away the top soil. Farming practices. Farming practices like um, overgrazing can actually cause removal of grass cover, leaving the land bare, causing soil erosion, which whereby soil can be washed away by wind and water. Plowing down the slope also creates channels down, which causes runoff from one point to another down the slope. Corner of urban development. Construction of urban development has also led to soil erosion because vegetation is removed so that we can construct artificial surfaces like our pavements, our roads. And we're in the process of us um, removing vegetation for us to develop those areas you find that at times uh, the ground is left to be and agents of wind and water can easily wash away our topsoil pollution pollution can cause acid rain which can make soil acidic can cause vegetation to die when vegetation dies it means we no longer have vegetation to bind the soil and it, therefore the area becomes prone to erosion. Monoculture, what is monoculture? Monoculture is the growing of the same crop year after year, year after year, and this leads to over exploitation of the soil and increases the chance of losing soil fertility. Vegetation might not grow very well with time and it can cause soil erosion. Mining. Mining, especially when we do open cast mining, when we uh, do, when we dig very deep holes underground, like open cast mining, it means that we are actually exposing the soil to 
wind and water which can also blow away the top soil so these are the causes of soil erosion now these are examples of soil erosion look at how the impacts in fact this shows impacts of soil erosion this ground has been left very dry wind action water action has been removing the soils forming deep valleys within the environment there here you can actually see land that is being cleared for farming practices by these um, tractors the land is being left bare so we find that if we experience very strong winds there or have rainfall soils can be washed away Splash erosion. Now, splash erosion occurs when it, we, this, I'm still looking at the causes as well of uh, soil erosion. It's when uh, we have heavy rainfall. When heavy rainfall hits the ground, especially when it has big drops, it forms rills within the ground. Very small rills, which mean that when these rills are formed, these small holes are being formed soil is also being eroded by the splash of the water and with the time if this rainfall is very very strong it can lead to degradation of the environment through those rills as soil is being washed from one point to another so heavy rainfall also is a cause of soil erosion it can actually remove a top layer of soil especially if the land is left bare gradient of the slopes very steep gradients can also cause rapid movement of water down the slope causing soil also to be washed away especially if the soil is not banked up by vegetation it can actually increase processes of soil erosion fires veld fires vegetation is burnt especially when we have fires vegetation is burnt and leaves the soil exposed to erosion wind we know that when we experience heavy rain, winds, it blows away loose soil particles and this blowing away of loose soil particles is soil erosion. Now, these pictures show impacts of soil erosion, especially on the environment. Look at the land degradation as a result of land, as a result of soil erosion. Roots are exposed, environments are degraded. As you can see, they have gullies, dwangas within our environments. So, misuse of our soil remember, it's a renewable resource, but if we misuse our soil and we don't protect our soil from soil erosion, it can lead to serious, serious land degradation. So, it's upon you and me. To take care of our environment and make sure we maintain our soils the next video will look at how do we conserve our soil to prevent soil erosion but I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope everything was clear enough for you guys thank you so much don't forget to subscribe hit the notification and I'll see you in my next video bye bye